Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This video for regarding to the wisdom tooth on the lower left, uh, number 17 area, partial erupted tooth. And um, uh, this video, hopefully it's helpful for young dentists and general dentists who want to explore, um, investigate whether you try to take this tooth out or refer to a specialist. First thing I would do is making sure that you have enough visibility access from the, the mouth if the mouth is too small don't mess with refer to a specialist better to do that way save your time less complication so in this case even though um, the uh, uh, mouth is uh, uh, quite big for do to do but uh, when i take the pa on the panel i didn't like it so i had to obtain the um, ct scan look at the um, uh, IA nerve very close that's the CT scan also show you the other angle where the IA is actually uh, more of the buckle uh, compared to the root of the uh, tooth so uh, it is safe to remove if you know what you're doing uh, so uh, let's jump in and see how I do that okay and uh, these are not a CT scan and how um, you can see the different angle take a look at the two it came out in uh, three pieces i actually had to use surgical uh, hand piece to uh, dissect the tube into uh, two but when i split it it uh, it's broken so that's the reason why we had to do uh, to pick out into three pieces anyway this is how the tube came out uh, the root is really curved it took me um, um i would say 10 15 minutes but uh, it's, it wasn't that bad. The uh, patient was 22 years old, uh, Asian, uh, uh, American Asian, so the uh, bone wasn't that hard. Just need some kind of leverage to remove, uh, to luxate the tooth, and it should come right out after you flap the case. Thank you for watching. I'm hoping that uh, if you try to decide to do it, just know how to do the flap design making sure that the patient um, uh, have enough uh, resting, TMJ pain and all of that can occur after you spend too much time on uh, doing uh, removing the tooth. You have to be able to determine uh, how you're going to approach the K before you start it. Um, don't go in and until that time and start thinking. So numb the patient, allow yourself time to think about how you flap it. Every case can be uh, slightly different. You have to make sure you have um, learned a few techniques about flap design. And uh, in this case, after I remove it, I shoot your primary closer, completely closer too. Patient was happy to go home. Uh, anyway, um, we get her some antibiotic pain medication, uh, just for precaution for infection and pain. Uh, she's, just gonna, she's gonna come back a couple of weeks to take out a suture. And uh, she did uh, she tolerate very well. Uh, both we removed number uh, one and sixteen for her a, f a few months ago, and now we're gonna do the number seventeen, and later on we're gonna do number thirty two. It's the same uh, situation. I'll follow up. Uh, if you follow up with my channel, you're gonna see number thirty two uh, case. Thank you for watching, you guys. Have a good day. Bye bye.